Howdy y'all, and welcome to Lex Lives. I think it's time to play a little Hand of Fate. Uh, so, I think we're going to do another day of Endless. Uh, I thought we'd check out the next couple cards in line here. We did the Soldier's Training. Kind of like that one. Uh, I did not like the Speed Up of the Chance cards. Um, Shadow Agent's just way too weak. And, uh, like, his combat is terrible, but the, uh... The cards are really slow in that one. Um, of course, the the soldier didn't last as long as the shadow agent, but I think the shadow agent had better card randomness. And uh, so today we'll start off with the nomad. Uh, has forsaken carrying excess equipment to pursue a personal journey. No inventory cannot carry extra equipment. Woo! Uh, equipment that would normally go to your inventory is automatically sold. That's kind of interesting. Nomads, you know what, I didn't hit their card either on either of those guys, Shadow Agent or um, or the Soldier. I didn't get their, their little card here. Uh, Nomads Desert 1, you are inexplic inexplicably drawn towards the bleak and unforgiving desert, drawn by a powerful desire to find something that, once, that was once lost. All right, so this guy can't hold extra equipment. I am not the first to deal the cards, nor are you the first to play. I do not expect we will be the last. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Uh, ooh, the altar. That's not a bad one to start off with. We can try for a nice blessing. Choose from these okay. options. Hmm, <laughs> I don't know. Should I take the card that went on top that's the terrible card that slid over one spot to here? Oh, I probably shouldn't. And we got Holy Touch. Undead Very nice indeed. Physically strike the player uh, may receive damage themselves. May, huh? Oh, he started with barely any food, too. Soldier started with 25. This guy started with 8. That's horrible. Oh, a treasure chest. We haven't seen that in forever. Alright, let's give her a try here. I got trapped. Click. Uh, okay. I saw that one. Let's see if we can get the treasure chest open. All I gotta do is not not pick this card. Awesome. Ooh, four game cards. 40 gold. Oh, that's really nice. I'm sure nice. you're grateful for that. 25 gold. Also really nice. Another 40 gold. Wow, that's a lot of gold. I was kind of hoping for some food, but... That's a lot of gold. Oh, that one's got a... thing on it. I can't quite read what that says. Something rescue, I think. Love rescue? I don't... A horse is a fine companion. I'm sure you'll leave this one in time. You do not seem to have the temperament for friends, even in the animal kingdom. I gotta go after that token. I mean, there's no other reason really to play endless. Our hero needs sustenance badly. Cave rescue. I've never seen this one before. Screams draw you to a nearby cave. Inside you see a terrified maiden being held by pirates. The dealer draws one monster card. The maiden quickly hides as the pirates prepare for battle. You must fight for your life. Okay, this seems like an easy one to get a token off of. Maybe. Who knows what happens after we fight. This looks like a pirate cave. Can't remember how to play the game here for a second. Can't remember how to counterattack. I do now. We should look at his equipment. I think he's got some, like a nomad mask on there. See it? We'll take a look at his equipment after this card. Uh, you take the pirate's treasure. The dealer, the t 
healer. What's that? The dealer draws you three game cards. The card's token is now yours. Uh, we get an equipment. A quick flash of gold, uh, and the bandits will forget themselves. Yeah, no, I... Are you I sure gotta, that's the right approach? I'm sure. Oh, that's really cool. It goes right to sell. And tin, tin food is awesome. The pendulum can swing both ways. That was actually worked out really good for us. Uh, so the the bandits... The only thing the bandit really looks like he has new on is uh, this nomadic helmet, which uh, less damage from starvation while the player has no has no unequipped items. And since he can't have unequipped items, basically I just take less damage from <laughs> starvation. So that's cool. And it worked out in our favor too because we got ten. It's ten better than trudging there, along a muddy food. road. Certainly. I know, we already talked about how much I hate horses or whatever you blathered on about earlier. Shut up and get us in the next level, alright? Always talking. Uh, on every successful combat without ingenuity. gauntlets, the player loses a ring, I look so... Forward to seeing there goes how my you rings, I don't have a gauntlet. Challenge. Oh man, another... another token chance. That's awesome. A merchant's favor. Whilst browsing the wares of a trading post, you're approached by the proprietor. You look like a trustworthy sort. I'm in debt to an acquaintance in Orangeshire. He is holding some items of my collateral. If you deliver this gold to him, an item of equipment can be yours as payment. Uh, I will take it to him. The shopkeeper makes sure the other customers have gone before lifting a floorboard and taking out a small wooden chest. You have my thanks. Please make sure all of the money makes it there For safely. your gold and learn nothing in the process. Oh, wow. Be aware of thieves and bandits on the way and stay out of taverns. Return policy, all right. Okay, so we we gotta make it four steps here and we're ambushed. Someone wants your gold, man. Someone wants your gold. Apparently I got ambushed on a ship while walking <laughs> to another town. I somehow stumbled upon a ship. The cave was in a cave, but my path I guess I guess it could be taking a river voyage, right? We could be traveling down the river. It does look awesome. I do oh there went one of my rings, since I'm not wearing gauntlets. Uh, Alright, let's see if we can sneak up and kill him. We don't want that one. We want this one. Man, this guy has amazing luck. I've gone entire episodes without gaining a single piece of equipment. Uh, that's awesome. Not so much, not so much, not so much. Let's put those on the bottom. We'll get something nice. I need all the food gain I can get. That was that was another good uh, setup for me. Desert cult. Many sacrifices can be made, but only blood runs true when time is done. Oh, no, that's so bad. Huh. We got a blessing out of it. Arcane knowledge, 30% chance to immediately reduce cooldown by 80%. And we can make our delivery of 100 gold coins. And get this token. token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. Ah, you look like the fellow that's carrying payment from my friend across the veil. How would you know? Uh, I will give him the gold. Thank you, he says. You can claim a piece of gear. Oh, the I thought that was another thing leaving me, but that was the burden... I uh, claim a piece of gear I was holding as collateral. Um, ooh, this is new. Let's take new. Uh, the living dead defense. have plagued these lands for many centuries. Thankfully, there exist many tools for their destruction, if you can find them. The undead is so weak. Oh, I didn't realize I could look at them. Um, Move quickly from speed. here. There is little material gain to be made. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. 
Let's take this one. And we got token. That's two tokens today on this card. That's awesome. Oh, I just gave up all my gold bandits. that. And there goes my other ring. <laughs> no more rings for me. Uh, and we get one game card. Oh, 15 health. That doesn't really help me out that much. I get that back from my food. I need more food. And we get more bad guys. And we got hit by a trap. One food's not too bad. We can hope that, a tiny level. as each card is unveiled, as each new concept is explored, Another that we learn token. something about ourselves, or something about you, at least. Uh, this is the one we got with the druids. They want me to defend them while There's they. There's a token in it for you if you thing. win. You make your way to the sacred stones at midday on summer solstice. The druids, still clad from head to toe in their long robes, are still standing, are all standing quietly on the stones. Waiting for you. One of them speaks. We are ready to begin. Uh, you pace the perimeter of the stones while the druids form a circle and begin chanting. Soon their low droning attracts the attention of some rat men. Gross. Super gross. Eight rat men. I hate rat men. I'm starting off with the war horn on this one so we can get through this fast. They do the three attacks. Oh, I barely used my my ability there, so that kind of sucked. The weight. Nope. Oh, that's not right. They counterattack the guy who is over away from me instead of counterattacking the guy who was throwing poison darts at me. Oh, that guy threw four times. I wasn't expecting a fourth one. Alright. We protected him. That's another token, which is just going to be the next part of the quest, I think. Uh, with the Ratman dispatched, you turn back to check the progress of the Druid ceremony. They appear oblivious to you, absorbed in their chanting, and the ritual continues. Your skirmish with the Ratman seems to have brought you to the attention of a group of bandits. Oh, man. And we didn't get our health refilled either after that. I better get more than just the next part of a quest here. All you can do is counterattack. They're attacking me so fast. Ah, I broke my combo meter there. Hit my throat knife. I don't know why I got your sword at me. I'm not afraid of your sword, buddy. Oh, 
Ooh, I didn't think I was gonna counterattack. Smash the button, nothing was happening. All right, there goes the next round. How many rounds we gotta do this? The druid ceremony ends as you defeat the last of the bandits. You have completed your task. Here's your reward. The druid draws you three game cards. The card's token is now yours. Gold. I could use some food. I could use more food than that. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Another token, though. The next ceremony must take place at dusk a week from now. You will be here. <laughs> and a shop. All right. We have 147 gold coins, which is quite a bit for me. Uh, let's see. Ring of Survival. I don't get to keep my rings. Skeleton King Shield. A shield bash can kill regular skeletons and stun other targets. Ring of Poverty and Mortal Whimsy. Uh, which is a sword that randomly changes to different weapon. Those are all cool. I don't think I'm really going to buy any. Um, we can get uh, 10 food for 30 bucks here. So let's just go with that for now. Oops, wrong button. And we'll save our gold in case we come across something else, like... I don't know, it seems to me there's like a merchant that wants to borrow money from me or something. Oh, there's the Holy Forge. We've seen that before. I don't have your metal, so... Can't really Caves help you there. and caverns. One cannot hope to find adventure without a little right. delving now. What happens to us? Trap. One food. Ah, uh, one food's not bad. I say that I created this game. Many of the things I've told you are true, but not that. I do not know who created it. Can't wait for this guy to I stop talking. I merely perfected it. Fire in the, the very deep. embodiment oh, he's of not the done. earth. For some people, that is home and hearth. For you, it is a terrifying beast. Fire in the deep. Veterans of the old wars spend tales of large, powerful creatures built of rock and flame. Not all of their attacks can be counted, countered, countered, yep, by mere mortals. I don't know why I have such a terrible time reading this uh, font. These monsters were exiled by the king to live deep beneath the ground in the caves they originated from. It took years of warfare to enforce the exile, but they haven't been seen on the surface for a generation. Ooh, so this is Win like a this mini boss. And claim my token. In a cave system, dark and deep, you stumble upon some strange flaming creatures surrounding an old man. They turn to face you as the old man cringes in terror. Uh, I'll attack. The creatures begin to lumber towards you threateningly. We're in a deep cave. With a lava golem. They look awesome. I totally... Yeah. Oh, we did that time. Oh. Ooh, I defeated him. I was trying to dodge for that attack there, but I defeated him. Ooh, that guy's kind of cool. Thank you, stranger, the old man says. I've traveled these tunnels for years, but I haven't seen lava golems this close to the surface since I was a boy. The healer draws you two game cards. Nice, I kind of needed that. I did not need that. That was a waste. Uh, now that you've slain this lot, uh, there was only one. I hope the rest of their kind learn to stay underground where the king exiled them. You and the old man head out of the tunnels together. The card's token is now yours. Is that like four tokens in my little... Do you understand what you have unleashed Hopper. now? No, I don't. I'm sure it's some lava... Ugh. Lava golems. I hate these guys. Let's see if we can get around them. Oh. Tim 
max health. That's not great, but it's not terrible. Ouch. Five gold coins isn't bad at all. The crucible. Uh, I don't remember the crucible. I really don't remember the crucible. Um, seems to be some kind of arena. Or I could bribe the mayor, or I could attempt to... I remember attempting to strum the river last time, and failed. Oh, dang it, I got up with that other guy. Die, lizard man. I don't like these lizard men because they're so hard to deal with. I say that and then psh, I'm done. <laughs> Alright, what do we get for that? Do we get to just continue our way? I don't want to fight. I'll do it again. Uh, let's go against Jack, I guess. We haven't fought him yet today. Oh, I have to do another one, huh? No, 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 no. Can I... Can I use the skulls? There we go. Oof, I don't want to mix lizards and Jack, because Jack comes with guys. Yes, guy. Obviously, I want you to attack the edge of the ring. You're going to die. What are you doing? I'm going to die, I'm going to die. Stop attacking the edge of the ring, alright? Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was all me. That was all just bad combat. All my fault. All my fault. Uh. You die alone, yet you always rise again. Another right. of my servants fulfills his duties. Let's see what we've got for tokens. For rescuing the maiden from the caves of the pirates, you receive uh, another encounter card. Cave shelter. Alright. For delivering the gold to Orangeshire, you receive food wagon. For protecting the druids, ritual, you receive. Twilight Ritual. For completing the fire in the deep encounter, you receive these cards. Now, see, this is a good one. Uh, let's see. Encounter number one. Golem Hunting Party. Interesting. Golem Hunting Party. Oh, man. Golem Hunting Party. You. And they're locked. Mithril. Assassin of Greed. Or no, it says Assassin's Greed, not Assassin of Greed. And Inferno Potion. Uh, so I... That wasn't bad. Um, we got some nice tokens. Uh, some new gear. Some new encounters. Some new bad guys that are now locked in my deck. Um, but, uh, yeah, not a bad run. I like the Nomad. Uh... I, he has really low starting food, which I don't like. But, um, and we never got to starving to see how much the starving's reduced by. Um, other than, other than, well, I like that he sells equipment immediately, uh, instead of me having to remember to sell it. So that takes an extra step out of things. Um, yeah, I, re I really like the, uh, the Nomad so far, so. 
Uh, probably next time we'll do another endless and uh, see what uh, what the next card is like. So click like if you like, subscribe, be sure and catch the next one. And I will talk to you later. What is at the end of your hallway there, dude? Look at that stuff down there. That's creepy. Oh, 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 oh,